the drama that these fellas talk about, they wouldn't even be there if they just listen to you, man. I've listened to your show a few times. I'm not from here, but you're pretty dead on in how women are. Get in, get off, get out. That's my motto. Don't be stuck with one girl too long because they're nothing but headaches and problems. I finish a household job when she can finish an intellectual conversation with me. I completely agree with the guy who you just spoke with. Oh, you're an idiot, too. No, I'm a human being. Oh, a human being. I see. Hi, Tom. I love you. As well you should, darling. You're awesome. Thank you. Okay, so what are we talking about? I don't know. I'll tell you what. Buy a radio. Call me back. Let's say hello to Angelina on the Tom Likas show. I don't believe in defending a girl's honor. She's just going to, you know, try and use it, manipulate the situation, you know. To yeah, which, by the way, that. if a chick is is getting boned by me, she has no honor anyway. There's nothing to defend. <laughs> that went out the window a long time ago with her undies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My husband listens to your radio station. Every time he comes home after listening to your radio station, he's like in a bad mood really? all the time. Uh, he, he must enjoy it. He listens all the time. I don't know. He, I, I don't know what it is. You're just brainwashing him somehow, and I don't mm. like that. Give me a list of the other countries you've traveled to. I've traveled to San Francisco. I've traveled to oh, Los San Francisco. Canada. What country is that? What? I said what other countries have you traveled to, and Canada and Mexico don't count. Oh, Texas. 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 It's my I'm favorite country. Austin. Now, listen to How about you answer the question I'm asking? I, what other countries have you been to besides Canada and Mexico and the United States? Well, not yet, but we will. What other countries are on the list? Um, what would that I would like to go to? Yeah. I'd like to go to New York. New York, that's a great country. Rather than having just one, I've got a whole roster. Why do you need a whole It's roster? like the taxi squad. And they're called the taxi squad because when I'm done banging them, I give them money for a taxi. Guys don't need to be in relationships. They don't. Some guys do. Some guys do. Yeah. Blind guys. <laughs> you know, I imagine Stevie Wonder needs someone to dress him every day. I understand. You know, just, uh, it's a great place, but you got to be clear about what you're saying sometimes. Like, if you're going to say, I'm off to the gym, sort of uh, make it clear whether it's the G-Y-M or the G-Y-M. <laughs> <laughs> and if you say you're off to Dave and Buster's, it might be you're off to Dave and Bust one. But it's just, uh, just be a little more clear. That's really the only thing you got to worry about. Edward on the Tom Likas show with our uh, screener, Dino. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Looking forward to having you here. Sweet little Dean in his tight blue jeans. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have a question, sweetheart. Which section are you moving to? I'm uh, moving uh, north of uh, Santa Monica Boulevard. So North of? Yes. Uh, closer to Fountain. Oh, fantastic. We'll have you down. It'll be wonderful. We're all looking forward to giving you your first time, long time. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be amazing. This is Edward. I can't tell you how happy I am that you're spreading the love like this. Tell all your friends. We're spreading you, darling. (laughs) (laughs) From a fallout shelter in Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that he is. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Wide open telephones on the Tom Like You Show here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Peter, you're on the Tom Like You Show. Hello. Hello! Tom. Hello, Peter. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? You are the man, and you're also a psychic. How so? Well, you predicted that um, 
Katie Couric was going to be off the air off CBS, and it's happening. Well, I I told you that would never work. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's amazing how people who are paid a lot more money than I am would think that that yeah. would work. Yeah. Um, it's completely true what you said, and um, I agreed with you then. And it's uh, I think she's going off the air. Or what? No, they have not said that. In fact, CBS said the exact opposite. Uh, in a carefully worded statement, they said that there were no plans to ask her to leave the air, which leaves it open, of course, for her to say that she needs to spend more time with her family or more time researching colon cancer or whatever. Is they going to have some press release eventually that will say that she's yeah. voluntarily decided to spend more time with her kids? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 come on. I mean, the Wall Street Journal reported this. Yeah. But the fact is that Katie Couric has had the lowest-rated newscast now for over a year. I agree. And she's had the lowest-rated newscast because she spent all those years being perky and puffy on the Today Show. Nobody thinks of her as a news person, and it doesn't matter if she has journalistic credentials. doesn't matter how hard she works to appear to have journalistic credentials. The, the bottom line is she spent over a decade on the Today Show being perky and puffy and, you know... I agree, Toothy. Tom. I totally agree. So, you know, it, does, it doesn't really matter. She could have the best journalistic credentials in the world. But, yeah. you know, after, after you, you know, you spent your time interviewing uh, Enrique Iglesias and uh, <laughs> the, the latest person get kicked off a survivor, yeah. <laughs> you can't then go on and anchor the evening news. You can't. You're the man, Tom. All right. Thank you, Peter. Hold me up. Here you go, baby. Employed by CBS, and uh, but we 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 tell the truth about everybody, and uh, all right, they gave it a shot. But they, <laughs> come on, come on, and what are you going to do next? You take uh, you know, uh, you take Mary Hart of Entertainment Tonight, make her anchor of the evening news. You, come on, there's just certain people that just would not work. It doesn't matter how smart they are, no matter how educated they are. You spend 10 or 15 years doing one perfy, poofy thing on TV, and then that's what you are. You are pigeonholed. You've just done that. You know, that would be like me uh, coming on and anchoring Eyewitness News after years of calling people bitches and hoes on the radio. It's not going to happen. I'm sure you'd tune in the first couple of nights, just like Katie Kirk. I'm sure you'd tune in. And now the news. Who's that bitch reporter we have out there? Bring her in. <laughs> Look at those knockers. Fantastic. Here's, here's today's weather forecast. Outstanding. Oh, come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Ryan. Ryan's listening to us on our online stream from Seattle. Bob, the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing great. Hey, uh, I think two weeks ago you did a show about uh, this guy pretending uh, the producers of uh, that show from HBO. What's that uh, show? Again? I don't know what you're talking about. That's uh, Entourage show. Entourage, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Um... All about... Uh, about uh, Yeah, some guy uh, was apparently going around Hollywood saying he was Doug Ellen, the uh, creator of Entourage. Right, right. right. And then uh, and you're, you say you're proud of him, and then how come you get upset when uh, people using your name on MySpace that pretend... It's not a matter of getting upset. I, I'm doing the same thing with those people as Doug Ellen is doing with the uh, imposter who's been pretending to be him. I'm employing a big law firm to go after them, and uh, they'll all be vanquished. I see. And many of them right. have already heard from my people. Uh, there have now been 40 different fake websites from MySpace shut down. Uh, we're also going after all the people using my service marks, like Likus 101 and Flash Friday and Tom Likus and their advertising. They've been hearing from my attorneys as well. Wow. Wow. So you know, are they going to go to... The jail when you guys uh... no it's not a crime these are all civil actions oh okay but they're all gonna pay me whatever profits they've earned I'll tell you that <laughs> nice nice Tom that's where it's going 
anybody who pretends to be me will ultimately pay. And that's okay. Keep it up, folks, because I'm going to get you eventually. I see. It. There's one guy on the Internet right now claiming that he he is an authorized teacher of the tenets of Lycus 101, and he's charging people. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying now. Right. So you're upset about... People making money using your no, name. No, I'm also upset about people getting on MySpace pretending to be me and then either picking up chicks or saying nasty things to people and claiming to be me. Yeah, so we're going to stop them from doing that. Good good work, Tom. So, uh, Why, yeah, thank yeah, you. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller, and uh, I've been listening since you got on Seattle here. Now they, they kick you out of here, and I hope you're coming back soon here. Well, you have to call your local station. Let them know. All right. Take, can you take me out? Uh, do you still have that uh, Fox News guy? Oh, Bill Vitka style. Bill Vitka and uh, uh, African tribal style, please. Well, let's see what we have here. Here we go. Fox News Radio. I'm Bill Vitka. I'm Bill Vitka. And uh, just a second. I apologize for this, but... I'm just a little, uh, I, I really apologize for this, as a matter of fact. There actually is a, a newscast here, uh, but... Uh... Tom Likas. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. Like it. 1-800-5800-866. You're the biggest Latino I know, bro. <laughs> if you like soccer, you would be a complete Latino, <laughs> but that's another top. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> The Tom Likas Show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. And we continue with your telephone call. Andro of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, how you doing? I'm doing okay, Andro. Andro, uh, do you know Mark McGuire? No, I know Mark McGuire. No, no. Because I read in a story that he took Andro, and I was wondering if that was you. <laughs> nah, it's Andrew. Oh. Yeah, I just moved to California. Long Beach, California. Oh, and, I see. Man, I'm from New York City. And that, I, that 24 seconds. <laughs> it only took 24 seconds to tell us he was from New York City. <laughs> and I love your show, man. <laughs> I just say love it. I, I, I think you got the best show from from the West Coast to East Coast, man, nobody talks like you. you for real, you, you got the best show. Well, thank you. And um, I, you know, I moved to hello. Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, yeah, I moved to California, you know, and I, you know, I got stuck, you know, dealing with a female and and, and had a baby and everything. Oh boy, shoot me now. Yeah, that's how it is, man. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, I got a nine-month-old baby, and it was just—it was just a, it a was what? Crazy. Wait, wait, wait! You have a what? A nine-month-old baby. A nine-month-year-old, ninth-month-year-old baby. Yeah, nine-month baby. Yeah. Oh, a nine-month-old baby. Okay. Nine months. Yeah, nine months old. You know, and um, I, I just—I I just came by. Just I just came just for you know to do some corporate work. I was working with a, a company called International Bank Builders. And next thing you know, I met her, and then what? Bang, bang! That's what happened. Bang, bang, bang! Without a condom, bang. Yeah, exactly. And so now, when I heard your show, it's like, oh man, <laughs> unbelievable! Yeah, they don't have the balls to have a show like this in New York. No, they don't. They like to think they have balls in New York, but they would never put this show on for any period of time. Unbelievable! I love it. I love it. You know, and. You know, I, I just got to say, you know, I, I love your show. And, you know, keep up the good work and just straight dissing everybody who you could dish, man. You know what I'm saying? Just ESPN and all of them. 
crack my heart, you bite, man. Just do what you got to do, man. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. <laughs> you know, man, it's a pocket. I'm definitely going to give you all the ratings you need. I, I definitely got your back. I love it. I got your back. Love it. I, I, I'll be hearing everybody talking about this Kobe and all this other stuff. So just take me out Kobe style. I love it. Just take me out Kobe style. All right, here it comes. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Bob on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Bob. Hey, I'm a short-time listener, first-time caller, but I just want to give you a call because... I remember your segment a couple weeks ago on the ball busting bitches, and then I have to experience this in a quote unquote um, intellectual place of thought. I'm on the debate team, and we were trying to bring people into the debate team for a big conference to get people to join it. And they were saying, What's a good topic we should have? And I brought up the topic that we should have Has Feminism Hurt America? Because it's a topic I wanted to talk about. Hello? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I brought in the topic, and then my um, my teacher's like, well, we don't feel that that's really appropriate and all this other stuff. And I said, why? Why is it not appropriate enough? And all my teachers, all three of my coaches are feminists, complete. That's why I brought them up, because every step along the way that they have tried telling me and, like, hampering my actual ideas that I want to write down, speeches I've wanted to give about my theories about marriage and about the economic dependencies of children and all this other stuff and about women's, um, like, all this stuff that I've ever wanted to write about. They've told me no. They've told me I had to write different speeches. And when it came down to this debate, I wasn't allowed to do it, and I kept asking why, and they couldn't give me a real opinion. And on top of that, I said I would take the opposing viewpoint. I would take the viewpoint of someone defending feminism. I love that, and they still wouldn't buy it. No, I said they know exactly how I feel. They know what I stand for. And I said, listen, I will stand to defend feminism just so this topic can be talked about. And they still wouldn't give it to me. You know, I uh, I haven't been doing much of this in the last few years. I think it's time for me to start speaking on college campuses because they're the most politically correct places on earth. Can you imagine how the, we could be causing World War III by being invited by various student groups to speak at university campuses? I think that would be the greatest thing in the world. Not to mention all the chicks I could pick up. I mean, this is the perfect crime. This is it. That's where you need to be. Absolutely. I'm going to put out the word now. I'm going to start making myself available uh, to speak on college campuses for the proper honorarium, of course. Oh, definitely. Uh, I'm ready to go. I imagine I could uh, come up with some some great uh, topics of conversation. (laughs) Uh, Ball-busting bitches. Do they belong on campus? Uh, we could come up with some other ones. Bitches and hoes. <laughs> Why is the Disney Channel creating a new generation of bitches and hoes? <laughs> you come up with a whole list. This would be a whole topic. You know, if I spoke on college campuses, what would be some of my uh, subject material, some of my course material? I mean, as it is, I'm a professor, so I should be out on campus. I don't, yeah, it makes perfect sense. You are a professor. Yeah. Well, that is pretty outrageous, Bob. I'm glad you reported in from the field there because, uh, uh, you know, I'm amazed at the number of uh, feminist classes uh, and the number of guys who are just tortured now on college campuses. It's pretty horrific. And the whole ordeal is, is that you just, I don't want to quit. I want to keep trying every step of the way to make as much noise to be heard so one day I can do something I want to do, and I want people to hear these topics. Well, you need to get the other guys on campus together. You need to find the other guys. Maybe you need to become an accredited organization there on campus. And then when you guys have a big enough organization, you can invite your professor to come speak to you. That's what – you know, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm a man who likes organization and leadership. Imagine if I was on that campus speaking out about some of the uh, – the debate club uh, uh, organizers and the uh, uh, feminist professors. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that would be the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. Oh, man. You're a, great, you're a great person, Tom. Well, thank you for that, Bob. Keep me informed. I will. Uh, can I go out travel cell? You certainly can. Baninge, 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 so finza. Baninge, 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 so finza. Come on, 
1-800-5800. Tom, that's our telephone number. It's Chad on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Chad. I want to ask you how you are because I know you're doing great. Yes. Hey, we need to go back from a couple of days ago with your uh, topic about the Pope here in New York. Yes. You know, I'm in California, but then I turn the news on again, hoping to get rid of it, and we have a taxi cab fire. You know, wait, they're, they're thinking it's a terrorist threat now that we have a taxi cab fire on, on a street. Where was this? Out there in New York. They're talking about the uh, taxi cab fire. Now they're thinking it was because the Pope's going to be in town. Are you kidding me? I don't understand. I it's probably it, it's probably just one of the uh, taxi drivers. Uh, you know, his stench went on fire. You know exactly. You know, and I have a question. I, I don't understand how this could be a religion when half these guys are pedophiles. And well, they're, you know, and they're they're molesting and raping people. Well, I, I I'm amazed that the Catholic Church thinks it has the moral authority to tell others what to do when they allow their own priests uh, to molest altar boys, and they just pretty much uh, let it ride. And here's a question for you. I know you have a good answer for this one. How would one man want to become a priest when he can never marry, date? Well, I know about your marriage thing, but, I mean, he can't even date a woman. Maybe he wants to do altar boys. Uh, I don't know, man. It's just uh, something different for me. It's the perfect crime. I guess it is. And they You take the vow of celibacy, and then you uh, ask the altar boys to bend over. Yeah, then you're protected. They're protected pretty much. That's right. You know, and they get paid to do it. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I wanted to just vent a little bit about that whole uh, situation out there. Well, you know where the priests live, right? They don't call it a rectory for nothing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, most of my family is uh, Catholic, except for my actual media family. And uh, You know they, they you know where they study to become priests? In the seminary. In the seminary. This is like an know, inside there's... joke among all the priests. Exactly, and, and these poor, poor, uh, I, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say. These, these, these poor guys, I mean, they can't date and bang women. I don't think they want to. I guess, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, well, I just wanted to vent a little My bit. My goodness, what a perfect uh, scenario for a pedophile. Yeah. It's just like every scenario. pedophile, you say, oh, yes, 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 I, uh, I don't believe in uh, having sex, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. It's their dream come true, I guess. Yeah. And what can we do about it? Yeah, by the way, you know who uh, used to be a seminary student? I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, but I'll tell you. You know used to be a seminary student? That uh, Bernie Ward, that talk show host up in San Francisco. Not familiar with him, but he well, must be a pervert. To, he, well, the th he, he, he has uh, been arrested and charged with, uh, uh, the, what was it? It was uh, pedophilia? Is that what it was? He had, like, supposedly, according to the authorities, he had photographs of... Uh, what were purported to be 13-year-olds, and he uh, claimed in some of his uh, text messages that right. he had watched his son having uh, sex with uh, some other boy. And I mean, and the guy used to be a seminary student. I can't figure it out. I, I mean, first you're at the seminary, and then you go to move and live, move into the rectory. What's scary? How many more priests are out there? And you know, and you go into confession, and you're telling, you know, these 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 men are probably going to this confession and talking about their problems and. Who knows what that priest is doing behind those, those closed doors? Uh, well, let me tell you. <laughs> I, I, those oh, confessionals, do they have glory holes in them? What's the deal? Exactly. I would. I didn't even want to know what's behind there. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right, bet it Tom. sticks to your ribs, whatever it is. Yeah. It yeah. sticks to something. <laughs> All right, Big Tommy. You have a good day, man. Uh, you too. Appreciate the call. Telling people to get down on their knees. Tell you what. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, James on the Tom Likas Show. What's going on, Dad? Do a little radio show, son. Right on. Hey, hey, Tom. Um, I wanted to speak on this for a little I'm actually considering joining the force and hopefully joining the SWAT. And uh, some friends knew about that. And I got an email uh, talking about some news story about uh, women trying to demand their spot in the SWAT force. Now, uh, it goes beyond top... that. It goes beyond that. Uh, the police chief of Los Angeles, uh, Bill Bratton, he he says he'll do whatever he has to do to give women the opportunity to be a, in the SWAT oh. force, and I imagine that includes uh, making the testing easier so the little ladies don't have to break a nail. You know what? That's very much true. Just to give you a little backstory on me, I'm actually a combat veteran serving the 82nd, and right. you know what? Most women who served i mean even they even know that they shouldn't even be there i know, you know what i mean i uh, believe me i know 
ridiculous, Tom. It is indeed, James. Hey, can you do me a favor and take me out with the uh, bomber? Thank you, Jesus, with the uh, African dance in the background. I'll see what I can do for you. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not paying anybody's student loans off. I'm not paying anybody's car payments. I'm not helping anybody pay the mortgage on their grandmother's uh, house. I'm not doing it. Damn straight, Tom Preaching. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Liga Show coming to you from the Belly of the Beast, Hollywood, California. My home now for almost 20 years. 1 800 5 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. Wide open telephones on the Tom Liga Show. Jeff is calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Liga Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jeff. What's happening, man? Let's do a radio show here. Hey, uh, I just wanted to call and find out what your opinion was of Bubba the Love Sponge on satellite radio. What is my opinion of Bubba the Love Sponge? Yeah. yeah. Well, Bubba has uh, said nothing but nice things about me, so uh, I have nothing but nice things to say about him. Awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, I pretty much listen to his show, I don't know, at least you know three, four days a week, and any time I hear him speak of the top radio guys, you know, you he he puts you right up there. He's always been very positive, and I've always appreciated. Cool, cool, man. Hey, uh, could you take me out, Steve Irwin style? Oh, that would be tasteless, of course. One bite from him, and it's all over. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, crack! What happened to the mix on that? I don't think it's the same as it's always been. It's weird now. His voice is drowned out. No, <laughs> something weird happened to it. These things happen sometimes. I told you we've got one sound effect in there that was clearly taken off an air check where I can hear the caller being hung up on in the middle of the... And it, it confuses me because every time we play this particular sound effect, I think I just hung up on the caller too soon because I hear the clunk and it's in the sound effect. Uh, which one is it? It's the explosion. I think it's the bomb. No, it's not the bomb. What are some of the more common ones we use here? It's one we use all the time. No, it's not Kobe. No. It's one of the sound effects we play a lot, though, because I hear this clunk. It's not in uh, African tribal style. Uh, it could be a bong hit. Yeah, which one do we use most commonly? No. Not that one. No. No, not that one. That's, now, there was something in there that didn't belong there, but I think that was on the original recording. The yeah, outboard. I don't know. That one. Thanks, Tom. 
Tom? Nope. I don't know. Uh, I'll, next time it comes up, I will point it out to you. Yeah. He's playing Steve Irwin again. One bite from him, and it's all over. Sounds speeded up for one thing. No! Oh! Oh, crikey! That's faster than the original. It's faster. I'm telling you, it's fast. It's speeded up. Sounds wrong. Dead serious. But there is... No, I don't think Lacey Peterson is the one with the uh, clunk. I don't know. It's not Freddie Wilhite. Sure. No, it's not Freddie Wilhite. It's one that plays more. <laughs> you just wanted to play it. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I see if she's alive. She's alive. She's dead. I think she's dead. It's a good one, but it doesn't have the clunk in it. I don't know. All right, it'll come up. Someone will ask me to take it out some style. I'm going to hear it again. I'll let you know. All right, I will point it out. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Craig on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Um, I, I don't like you. You're kind of, you're kind of mad. You're mad? You kind of, you kind of talk about bad, bad things. Because I talk about bad things. You, you're not... You talk about negative things, like adult things. Dark things. Adult things. May I ask how old you are, Craig? 29. What do you do for a living? Nothing. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And uh, so how do you pay the cost of uh, your rent and food? Where does that come from? Margaret. I live in a dorm. You live in a dorm? You so see you're attending a college? Yeah. What college are you attending? A fun, a fun college. A fun college? What's the name of the college? It's Marbridge Foundation. It's a school with gifted people. Oh, gifted people. You're gifted. Uh-huh. I see. What gifts do you have? Can you tell us about that? Um, I have autism. Oh, so you're a gifted person. Yes. I see. And uh, so you listen to radio programs like this, and you you have autism. Yeah, I like the I like I can listen to it on the web. You you, you kind of I love that website. Your website is hot, nice. Yeah, but you don't like the show. It it, it talks about you talk about things. Things, yes, every day, okay. thing, every hour. And it's inappropriate things. Like what? Sexual things. Sexual things. Uh, when I you a Christian. What's that? Are you a Christian? No, I'm not. Oh, oh that hurts. <laughs> no, I'm not, Craig. Why? Why are you a Christian? I like God. Well, there you go. I'm well. I see. So when's the last time you had sex? Um, I, I, need, a, I need a fine girl. Well, but you're Christian. You're not supposed to be having sex. I don't. So, have you ever had sex? I like, I, I like, I like, I like playing with myself sometimes. Oh boy, I, I mean, with a girl. Have you ever been with a girl? No. Why not? Um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I like girls. You like girls, but you don't want to be with them. I want to do it sexually. Help me find a girl. Where do you find girls? You just said you're Christian. You're not supposed to be with girls. You're supposed to be celibate until marriage, right, Craig? Uh huh. So you don't need a girl right now. You're atheist. Yes, I am. Ooh, that's kind of a not that not a good thing. I don't know. Why not? You should. You don't have Jesus. I, I don't believe that Jesus exists. He does? Uh, prove it. The Bible. The Bible. It doesn't prove anything. Do, there's a book by uh, Herman Melville called Moby Dick. 
Uh, is there a whale named Moby Dick? Well, Moby, well, Moby has a oh, uh oh, Moby. Um, he didn't get me. By the way, did your roommate maybe have Tourette syndrome? You can put him on. No. Just checking. Yeah, uh, I mean, is there a whale named Moby Dick? Well, Moby. Can't say that on the air. Come Oop. on. Oop. I meant. I meant. What I meant was. The... <laughs> I, and then you're all upset. You're all upset about what I say on the air. You can't say things like that. Oh, well, I, 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 I'm an adult. You're, you're an adult, but it doesn't mean you can say those things on the radio. Oop. I, I didn't mean to. I, it was. It's blocked. Is that the things they teach you there at the Christian church, to talk like that? No, I watch TV. I, watch, I like watching junk on, I watch junk on TV. I like junk. I like the junk. What are some of the favorite shows of people with autism? Um, yeah. Um... Are there other people there at the school who have autism? Autistic what are some of the favorite shows of the people with autism? Uh, I just want the network programmers to get a good idea for the fall. You know what shows you guys like? That, that is a cool show. What? That was you, you know what show that is? Wilson. Flip Wilson. And he is dead, probably. How do you know about Flip Wilson? Um, he, he used to come on, I think he comes on Kikilin at, at night. I don't know. He is like old 70s. I see. All right, and uh, Craig, what about current shows? Do you watch any current shows? Do you watch Dancing with the Stars? I like I like I like TV and I love adult things. You like adult things, like the Tom Likas show. It's Park. Well, then why would you call it and complain about what we do on the air if you like adult things? Um, it doesn't bother me. Do you like to watch porn? I like George Clooney. I love that. You like what? George Clooney. Oh, Girls Gone Wild. Like girls playing. I love girls playing. By the way, I hope uh, Joe Francis is out there. This is your target demo, Joe, right here. <laughs> is Joe in or out of prison right now? He just got out. He just got out? Yeah, prison. Oh, actually, still is. <laughs> is he he might have gone back in. I don't know. Yeah, he was in prison. The guy who created Girls Gone Wild was in prison. What do you got busted for? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I'm uh, wondering if Craig is interested in a position as the screener for a nationally syndicated radio show. It seems like he might be suited for such a thing. I, I was wondering. I want a job like that. I want a, yeah. a radio show. I want a radio show. I was wondering if you'd like to program a conservative talk radio station. <laughs> we could hook that up. Maybe in Dallas. He's calling from Dallas. Maybe that case guy needs a program director. Would you like that, Craig? We can hook you up with that? Yeah. You can spend your day talking to Michael Medved on the phone about what his topics are going to be? Probably. I like I like radio. I love any kind of radio. I love satellite radio. Ooh, shortwave radio is cool. Shortwave radio, yeah. It's old radio. It's like kind of nice. Back when nobody made any money in radio. It's kind of a throwback. Uh-huh. That's great. So, uh, attention advertisers, you too can reach this prime demographic. Craig, it's been a pleasure. Will you call me again? Yeah, I like you. He's a nice guy. You single? <laughs> Don't even go there with me. The Tom Likas Show.